Hello oh, and welcome back to Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, with me, Matthew Gaddy's Iggy Puggy. So, we are going back through the other levels to see which um, um, Crystal Shards we've missed. Excuse my pause there. I've kind of got something in my throat there. But, yeah, we are going back through the levels. And right off the bat, I have here both Cutter and uh, Spark. For good reason. One of them is required, I believe, uh, for later in this level. So, we want to go through there to get it. Oh, maybe not, apparently. Or did I just throw it away? Did I mean to throw it away? I don't know, but, um, yeah. Apparently I'm going back for some reason. Because apparently we don't need Cutter and Spark. Yeah, I was wrong, but we may need... Did I just give it a bomb? Well, actually, I'm not sure, but we want Stone. We want Stone, definitely, but what is the other ability? It's not Bomb, is it? Because, um, yeah, that would be interesting if it was. Again, I'm going through the level with the uh, Kirby Dreamland 3 music, which, honestly, I don't mind at all. Seriously, it's probably one of my favorite songs from that game. So, yeah. But, um... All those screws this crumbling platform. Even with something like the um, thingy, it's hard. And there's another penguin. Don't know if I want the penguin. No, I do not. There you can see fire. Fire is the other ability we want to get to get this crystal shard. So yeah, moving left and right, inhale it, and there we go. So yeah, so we become Volcano Kirby. So with that said, what I want to do is firstly get up to the boss because these um, smaller crabs will regenerate, of course. So yeah, um, and be wary of the um, thing there. But yeah, with Volcano Kirby, um, it pretty much makes it into a thing. Then you use the um, Volcano ability to get the shard there. The next one is in the um, beach level on Aqua Star, and let's see then. So, uh, I'll get rid of that, but I don't want that anymore. I think the one I found was in the um, area that was in deep within that rocky area. So yeah, that's a bit further on in the level where the shard is that I'm missing. So yeah, at least the one I know I'm missing anyway, but I will have to go through a fair bit of level to get to it, but yeah. That's where it is. Um, and stupid ant line is still stupid. Seriously. Although Kirby cannot... Um, I'm not sure if Kirby can defeat him. If he did, it would probably require something like Ice Kirby. Anyway, that being said, let's go through here. Get rid of the enemies there. And um, indeed, one more uh, for thing. And more shot swords, of course, in 3D. Very annoying. So inhale you and spit you out because honestly I don't want you. Inhale you and get nothing at all. Uh, okay, so um, apparently inhaling the Bronto Burst makes you fly upwards. So do I want Cutter? Well, I'm going to get it for now. I'm going to say that now. I'm, I'm going to get it for now because the Boomerang is very helpful. More so than in Kirby Superstar actually in my opinion. Seriously, this is where I think the Cutter ability really shines in Kirby 64. Because Kirby uses it like a boomerang, more so than in the thing in, uh, in um, Kirby Superstar. He just uses it like uh, well, a knife or something, as if he were trying to slice bread or something. Well, I don't want to go any further than that, because various things. Okay, so we have some fish here. Um, so I do actually want that uh, to use the fish because getting these green fish will give us the bomb ability so yeah so inhale that and yes kirby can inhale underwater in kirby 64 so yeah so we're getting ninja kirby here so we, well the equivalent of ninja kirby I'm, I'm guessing he's not as good as in superstar but yeah that's all i can think of in being a ninja so ninja kirby it shall be because we don't have that equivalent in that gate in this game so yeah so if we go up here into the rocky formation and head downwards um we want to head to the left here to this rocky formation and use our shurikens to destroy the rock and get the crystal shard that way 
And there we go! Fairly easy. I think there is one more I missed. Oh, no, no, I'm, I was wrong. I was wrong, so let's go to the next one, which is in um, the underwater level, I believe. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong again. There's one more crystal shard that I'm missing here in uh, Kirby 64. So, yeah. I will head to the right, and there's King Dedede, willing to launch us into the air with his giant mallet. And that will land us near the... Um, where the... Nordies are coming down again. Why Nordy? I don't know, but I'm not sure if I need an, a, a copy ability for this next one, but we'll see. So let's see. Some we do not want um, cutterfish. Do we want cutterfish? I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure on that one, but I don't think so because that just gives us our animal buddies from uh, Kirby Dream, Kirby's Dreamland one and uh, two and three. Sorry. Okay, apparently I am getting cutter and uh, things, so let's see. That will transform us into... I don't want Nego. Nego's oh, terrible underwater, seriously. Fine, I'm open to attack. What the hell, man? Peach? Yeah, Peach isn't too bad, actually. Peach can actually fly for a short period of time. Um, maybe not as greatly as Koo, but there you go. Um, so let's get up here. And what we want to actually use a uh, cushion thing for is to actually transform into Rick the Hamster. Because if you remember from Kirby's Dream Land 3, um, <coughs> what we can do is climb walls. And indeed it is his most useful ability actually. So now I want to head down here and uh, then uh, swim through there, both through using Cutter and Stone. There's a one up there as well. But you can only bust there with Cutter and Stone. So let's see what... Uh, that was Koo. Koo can fly for a bit longer than... Uh, than um, things, but no. Okay, what's... The, I think that's Rick. Yeah, that is definitely Rick. Now, given that we're dealing with Stone here, um, it's a bit harder because um, we have to factor in the fact that uh, Stone is in play... And that means he, um, Rick, or oh, Stone Rick, yeah, let's call him that, Stone Rick, is a bit heavier. The other problem because of that with the combining Cutter and Stone is that, um, of course, when you jump off from a wall, you don't necessarily um, go towards the thing because of the he uh, heavy weight of the Stone ability, of course. And the uh, shard is at the directly at the top there. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, not an easy thing to do because of that. And you just go um, career, careening down? Yeah, we'll go with that. And finally, well, sort of the underwater level. I'm going to have to split this over two episodes because I struggled to get the second one in this level. To be honest, this one is the, the most annoying level out of all the... Um, the, the levels in um, Aqua Star. Seriously, I hate this level. Uh, n not for the fish and everything. Not because of the red fish, but, but uh, because of the currents and everything and how hard it is to dodge and everything. But never mind. Uh, okay, where are you going? Uh, I don't want that fishy. I'll take this fishy and maybe hold it above Kirby's head. No, I just spit the damn thing out. How annoying. Right, inhale and pick it up and put it above your head there, Kirby. There we go. And I'm swimming the wrong way. Great. Well, never mind. Um, seriously. I suppose you can avoid the rocks, but why would I? Why the hell would I? I do not know. Seriously. To the pit where we actually get the shard, because that, this is going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. So swim through here and ignore the Gordos. What I want to try and do is hug the left wall here, get up through here before I reach the top. Uh, there are some enemies that come down with spark. And then, yeah, take the hit there, Kirby. And then, this is going to be annoying, but there you go. You can actually see the, the thing up there, but yeah, this is why I split it in two.